so modern warfare 2 remastered is on the way officially this time no joke no rumor no he said or she said about a friend of a friend whose uncle works at sony this is the real deal right now today the trailer for modern warfare 2's remastered campaign leaked on the playstation store in germany and thus it's known to be happening and everything coming along with it today i want to break down all of that and let you know everything you need to before this campaign remaster drops so that said as we go along let me know your thoughts about what you think of this remaster i'm pretty sure a large number of these comments are going to be about the lack of mp so feel free to let me know your thoughts about how you feel about this release impartial happy upset whatever it is feel free to let me know and as well if you are new to the channel maybe considering that subscribe button if you guys haven't done so already to stay up to date with warzone and modern warfare content and even some modern warfare 2 campaign remastered stuff that i have planned here got a few interesting videos that i think you guys will enjoy and don't want to miss so be sure to stick it here if you're new that said let's get into it in the background you'll be seeing the trailer for the campaign remaster of modern warfare 2 and right off the bat yes it's campaign only but for what it is as a campaign remaster i'm into it just purely from a narrative perspective and reliving the story that pulled me into call of duty way back in the day on current hardware again i'm okay with that I think this looks pretty good. Emphasis on looks for what we're given. Of course, again, given the lack of MP, that's its own separate discussion. But for what's offered, being a story nerd, somebody that absolutely loved the campaign of Modern Warfare 2, will it be something that I'll only play once or twice if I pick it up? Maybe, but we'll talk about value in just a second. As for the trailer, though, based upon this, we can see what looks like some definitives here in the way of what's coming. Firstly, a release date, then the pricing and what comes along with it, and finally, is it an un touched remaster i guess faithful remaster you could call it as for release date wise it's all but officially confirmed from the call of duty twitter and other official announcements and accounts that relate to activision to be releasing tomorrow for all players the trailer itself which has yet to be publicly released on any youtube channel or anything like that from the call of duty perspective and the socials there the trailer says available now not coming soon or coming at a specified date it says instead available now which with this being available in germany for a short period of time i mean there's actually people streaming it playing it and doing that over in germany it was available to them at that point so seemingly releasing almost immediately but a little early so our best guess would be tomorrow as that stands which is our standard update days of tuesday for when new content drops in the call of duty world so it does make sense though it is again kind of out of nowhere so i'd be on the lookout for tomorrow at 10 a.m pacific standard time most likely if you decide to purchase it though who knows how large the application will will be we know that recently updates love to be massive for modern warfare alone and with a full-fledged new application with 4k textures and the like it may be a bit hefty of a download as for price point it seems like it's going to be roughly 30 usd or us dollars i think that it was listed as 25 euros on the german shop so it would equate out to roughly 30 dollars since they don't do the normal direct conversions to other currencies they're either round up or down so 30 dollars seems like that price point you can expect here with this but with that $30, it's not the only thing you end up getting. This seems like it's going to be tethered to that previously leaked bundle of Ghost Classic Bundle, where you end up getting the Underwater Demolition Team Ghost Operator Skin, the Task Force Weapon Blueprint for the M4A1, the One for One Weapon Blueprint for the 1911, the Flipper's Weapon Charm, the Belly Flop Finishing Move, the Stay Frosty Voice Quip, the No Easy Days Calling Card, and the Ghost Emblem along with that. So when you think about that sort of bundle and what we see already in modern warfare you're really only paying actually about five to ten dollars for that campaign remaster itself now this doesn't really specify directly if it is something that is standalone that you can purchase it if you don't want to get the modern warfare 2019 bundle with it but there's a solid chance that the bundle alone would be about 2400 cod points or 20 dollars maybe 24 if you don't get the bundle that gives you 400 extra so again it kind of chops down that price point which is where when we previously mentioned the value of it a campaign that i'd be reliving again for once or twice comparatively for only about five to ten dollars it's not as bad as say 30. so in that sense when you think about it i guess it just comes down to how you feel about it but the bundle itself is pretty badass and i definitely think i'd pick it up in modern warfare 2019 as is so if i can get an entire campaign on top of it I don't mind the extra five bucks, but that's just me. And the final question that we can look to answer is that of, is it an untouched remaster? Is it something that's a faithful remaster? Because we saw that Modern Warfare remastered the original installment back in 2016, had a few things added to it that of course didn't make it necessarily a direct one-to-one. -one. There are of course new cool Easter 
Easter eggs, which honestly, I wouldn't mind if that's added in and there's some different twists the Modern Warfare 2 Remastered ends up taking where it doesn't really affect the entire gameplay outcome, but it's just some cool little stuff you can do to hunt that's new, but it doesn't look like, of course, we're gonna have supply drops in a campaign. What it does look like, though, is that it's almost identical to the Modern Warfare Remastered engine and gameplay, not the current build and the new engine that Modern Warfare 2019 is on. The menus from some footage that I saw here floating out in the interwebs look exactly the same as the entire UI of Modern Warfare Remastered. So kind of an overarching umbrella, if you will, almost in that design sense, but it also looked like some changes may be made. I did see a clip on Twitter where the intervention audio is different than that of the original, which is also something that the 2016 installment of Modern Warfare Remastered changed some weapon audio to make it a little bit more realistic and a little bit more air quote boomier. But that depth of the audio isn't exactly what players may associate with, say, weapons like the intervention. So might be a little bit of a bummer and may not be an exact faithful remaster, but instead maybe like a 90% remaster. But that said, the next stuff I want to talk about is conjecture, speculation, stuff that we don't have confirmed, but I suspect is kind of the case for some of this stuff. Firstly, the big question, why is it a campaign remaster only? Obviously, the lack of MP is something that players are really going to be scratching their heads over, and that's the more so lighthearted case. I'm sure a lot of people are really upset about the fact that there is no MP here with this. They may be frustrated, they may be mad, whatever it is. And honestly, your guess is as good as mine as to why they may never have done it. But the one thing that I think back to whenever I see this now finally in front of us that it's actually a reality I remember a report I think two years ago whenever this first came out that seems to me like the only reason as to why they would shoot themselves in the foot and not release MP because let's be real that is exactly what they're doing they're shooting themselves in the foot by not releasing the most iconic MP of all Call of Duty with this remaster but the report stated that Call of Duty owed Sony a remaster of Modern Warfare Modern Warfare 2 and potentially Modern Warfare 3 but they were at least on the hook for a couple of those. And of course, with Modern Warfare Remastered being released in 2016, this would have previously been if it released at the initial reported time in 2018, and then maybe now with 2020, a Modern Warfare 3, if all things went according to schedule, that would have been their contract. So I partially wonder if this was kind of just dumped here as a campaign remaster to fulfill part of that contract and then get past one of the humps on it, whereas there really wasn't that necessity for it to begin with, where they were kind of contractually on the hook with a deal made and uncertain certain times regarding Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, but now that things are kind of looking up, they don't necessarily need to release one to save any sinking ship in a sense, or anything that's gaining major PR backlash, but instead, Sony's knocking at the door to collect. I don't know if there's any validity to that, but to me, that would be the only reason as to why that would make sense to just release a campaign remaster. I don't know if we'll ever actually get the answer to that, but there also is the rumor of multiplayer content coming to Modern Warfare of 2019 that instead of being its own standalone thing, it would then be added into the current title, perhaps even starting with Season 3, launching as of next week. The newest update on this rumor coming from the Gaming Revolution, who has gotten a lot of stuff right in the past, he said that he was told they're planning on making Modern Warfare 8 best of Modern Warfare game, and there's around 60 multiplayer maps in the works for Modern Warfare right now that'll mainly be fan favorite remasters of the trilogy. Now, honestly, who knows? This entire thing now gets down to, again, a bunch of conjecture, a bunch of speculation. Apparently, a former Sledgehammer developer said that the MP was completed and they're just holding it off, so who knows? The only logical explanation I can think of for that twist in that development would be that Activision reportedly hated the player split between Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered back in 2016 and 2017, so to maybe avoid the entire situation happening again, maybe they're holding it off for a rainy day. So, like we said, this is where it all gets messy and it gets down to a bunch of he said, she said for that particular part, but it is what it is. Honestly, at the end of the day, though, my thoughts on it, I don't really care that much. I don't care to be upset. I don't care to be super excited. Am I happy that I'll be able to experience one of my favorite campaigns of all time again? Yes, but at the same time, it's not really anything that I was expecting to drop to begin with. It wasn't anything that I was expecting MP because we'd been told since 2018 that we wouldn't have a multiplayer with it. So it's kind of just there. It's a pleasant surprise that yeah, I'll get to experience it once or twice again, but come a week's time, will I really care all that much? Not really. I'll be on to season three of Modern Warfare and talking about that here on the channel. So that's kind of where I want to wrap it up. That's my thoughts on the entire situation. That's everything we know right now. But it looks like, again, tomorrow may be an air quote bigger day 
for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered fans and what may be out there. So if you want to relive the campaign, it may be coming to you very, very shortly. That's it. That's where we're going to wrap it up. So let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Is there anything in particular you guys are really upset about, really happy about, whatever it is, feel free to let me know. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare, updates, news, information, tips, tricks, all that good stuff we got you covered here on the channel. So if any of that interests you, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with us on YouTube. Break them on both those. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.